proudly brought to you by Broadlake for reliable business connectivity. There's certainly no BS about the 2013 KTM XCW200. Cameron Peterson has won national supermoto races and supersport races this year, but when he's not competing on the asphalt, he is well known as a good motocross rider as well. So we've asked him to pop along to the dry and dusty Mariasburg mine dance with us for a ride on the all new KTM 200 XCW Enduro machine. Cam rides with us here quite often, but normally he rides his full blown motocrosser. Riding a proper Enduro machine for the first time in this environment has been a revelation. The suspension is designed for this type of terrain. The engine power delivery is smooth and strong, whilst the riding position is a lot more upright than a motocross bike. All of the two-stroke KTM Enduro machines are fitted with the linkless PDS rear suspension system, and we reckon there is not one competitor in the market that can rival this system. All of the usual high-quality cycle parts are in place on this KTM, but there have been massive improvements made in the engine department of the 200. KTM are one of the few companies who continue with two-stroke development, and it shows on this model. Utilizing a fuel oil mix of 50 to 1, there is very little in the way of two-stroke pollution. Not that really matters in these cyanide dust surroundings. A quick tip to enduro riders is to always wash your bike immediately after riding in these dumps, otherwise the acidic sand could do some damage to your machine. Speaking of maintenance, the KTM range of enduro bikes are low on maintenance and high on ease of use. Speaking from experience, you actually do not even require tools to clean and oil the side-mounted air filter. Who would have thought that an electric starter would be an advantage on a 200cc two-stroke machine? Well, it is. It's as simple as that. Being stuck on the side of a mountain or a ditch and groping for a kickstarter is no joke. Kickstarting a stalled bike into life also takes it out of you physically, so the fitment of a lightweight electric starter to this bike is simply a brilliant idea. So many off-road riders have told us that the KTM 200 is the best all-rounder for newcomers to the sport, as well as serious enduro competitors. Now, we do believe them. What an amazing little bike, and that's no bull. KTM are well known for small refinements of existing models year on year, but on this 200cc model, we reckon this has been the hugest improvement over previous year's models. The Austrian engineers have obviously devoted much time in redesigning this bike, and yes, it's almost a complete redesign over the previous model. The 200 really does now offer the low weight of a 125 machine, but the power of a 250. It is quite difficult to fault in any department, but KTM did reduce the triple clamps offset to just 20 millimeters for this year, and while that makes the bike more stable in a straight line, it also makes the steering heavier in the corners. This does make it easier to lose the front end when leaned over. A remedy would be to pull the fork stanchion through the triple clamps by about 6 millimeters. That's just our thoughts on this. Anyway, a final word from young Cam. When I'm not racing, one of the things I love to do most is come out on the weekend and ride with my Uncle Dave, my dad, and Graham White and Torrington. And I tell you, this KTM seems to be the machine to be on.